Hi everyone, Adventure 4904 here. Welcome to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great year so far. A bit about me, I'm a student pilot and currently pursuing my PPL. I also create MSFS tutorials and videos. You're most welcome to watch my IRL flight videos in my channel. I've been an avid flight simmer since the 80s. If you like the content and would like to see more, please like and subscribe the channel. It's much appreciated. In this video, I'd like to show you how I configure my Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant for the Kodiak 100 by Simworks Studio. The Kodiak was released late 2021 and is now one of my favourite planes in MSFS. The Kodiak is a single-engine turboprop aircraft which has a cruise speed of around 183 knots. It has a short takeoff landing, stall capabilities, hence it being a favourite bush plane. So let's get into the cockpit and show you around. So here's a cockpit equipped with Garmin 1000 NXI avionics suite. If I move my throttles, the prop lever and the condition lever on my Bravo, you can clearly see that they are configured correctly. That's the throttle. That is the props. And I've got my condition lever here. The Honeycomb Bravo has six axes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'll be using the first, the third, and the fifth since it's a single engine aircraft. For a twin engine aircraft or multi engine aircraft, you will need to configure as needed. So let me pull out these levers here, which I don't need. And replace them with these rubber dust covers. One, two, and three. So as you can see, the Bravo Throttle Crawdon is multi-use. You can use it for any type of aircraft configuration. I have my throttle lever here. I've got my prop, which goes into full feather. And I've got my condition lever, which goes into cutoff. It's past the D10 that uh, the Bravo has. Okay, so let's configure the throttles. Let's go into the settings. I'm going to press escape here. Let's go into controls options. Okay, I have my Bravo controls here. Ensure that you make a copy of the current configuration. I have named mine appropriately, Kodiak 100. So I'm going to select that. And on the left hand side, you will see this expand and collapse all button. If your properties are all opened up like that, it's faster if you can just click on the expand collapse button here and it collapses everything. I'm going to go into the power management section here on the throttles. So you see that you have three options, condition levers, propeller and throttle. So I'll click open the throttle part and I'll scroll down and I will need to change this from assign to all to see all the available properties and if I scroll down in enough you can see that my throttle one axis is actually configured for my on my Bravo okay you can see that is configured to go into the reverse or the beta you will have to enable throttle one decrease which is a joystick button number 24 so if I press down on my Bravo like that it hits the button 24 which is actually the throttle decrease or in this case it's gonna go into reverse Okay, let's go configure the props now. So I'm going to again click on the expand collapse all button to collapse everything back and go to power management and now choose propeller or prop and I'll scroll down until you see that I have configured the propeller to one axis, propeller one axis in this case. So it's gonna use the joystick R axis Z. So you can see that I can move it now Okay. So it goes from full to low RPM and if I click further down, it goes into full feather. Okay, so how do I put a full feather? If I scroll down, you can see that it has configured to increase propeller one pitch and then hold propeller reverse truss. Right, so you will have to enable these two buttons, joystick button 26, which is when you go past the D10, that's button 26. Okay, last but not least, let's go into the condition lever. Again, I'm going to expand collapse all. 
and choose power management go down to condition levers this is new before this we did not have any condition lever settings i think after the last sim update they've put that in and we need this for the turboprop or the turbine engine aircrafts okay click condition levers scroll over down and you can see that i've set the condition lever to my condition lever axis which is this one here okay and if I go past the 10, it will enable button joystick button 28, which has been set to decrease condition lever and condition lever cut off. Right, these two buttons here. Let me show you another thing that you will have to set up for the condition lever, especially. So here we are again in the cockpit. I just want to show you about the condition lever. I have set it mine so that the condition lever now sits where the 10 is. So I'll show you how I did that. So let's go back into settings. You need to go into sensitivity now instead of going into the properties here. So let's click on sensitivity. So if you see, I've, I've got my extremity dead zone set to about 9%. If I move this around, if I let's say I make it in the 30 percent and I'll do a done and I'll apply and save. You will notice that the condition lever goes beyond the D10. So it's not right where it is. Okay, let's try another way and back to sensitivity and if I change this to a higher number and let's see what happens if I press done see now it goes beyond the D10 so to get the sweet spot here in my case I got the number to be about 9% okay let's bring down the figure now back to 9% okay and then we'll press done and apply and save go back and now you see that it sits at exactly where we want it to be Okay, so this will go to cut off. I'll bring it up. Let me show you my cam. Okay, to low idle. And before takeoff, we put to high idle. Okay, so those are my configuration. Put this back to cut off. Prop goes to full feather. And the throttle goes into idle. So I hope this has helped you in some way configure your bravo and if you like the video and you like the content please like and subscribe this is adventure 494 signing off and i'll see you in the next video take care and happy flying